We have official confirmation tonight about the death of a missing Terre Haute woman. Good evening and thanks for joining us. News 10 broke the story from Vigo County Coroner Dr. Susan Amos. She said DNA testing confirmed a body found inside a car was that was pulled from a rural pond is that of Alice Anita Oswald. So does this change the course of the investigation into her homicide? News 10's John Swanner spoke with the police chief this afternoon. He has more live from police headquarters. It's tonight's top story. Patrice Rondrell, Police Chief John Plassey told me that they had the advantage early on in seeing Oswald's body as it was pulled from that pond. And while it wasn't officially confirmed by the coroner's office, they had a pretty good idea it was Oswald's body that they in fact recovered. And they told us back in early January that that death was in fact a homicide. Dr. Amos would not give us any additional information regarding Oswald's death. That's because this investigation is ongoing. The police chief said no resources will be spared in this investigation. I know it's frustrating. It's frustrating for us and I'm sure for Anita's family that we don't have, you know, an arrest um, in this case yet, but we will continue until we do so and uh, we're not going to stop until that happens. And I also asked Chief Plassey how long he thought Oswald's body was in that pond. And he said that she turned up in early November and it's probably shortly after she turned up missing that that vehicle and her body went inside that pond. And we'll of course keep you updated as the story progresses. We're live at Terre Haute Police Headquarters. I'm News 10's John Swanner. Back to you. As we've reported.